Pisces. Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Pisces. If you're new to my channel, I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning and trust me with your energy. So, so the first message we have here is, I've been hiding this. Wow. Very heavy energy coming through with this card, but even though this is how your person is feeling right now, your energy is coming through very strongly with this Divine Feminine. I'm picking up on a feminine energy that has the gift of illumination. So it's almost as if you have this ability to highlight certain things where everything you touch or even the people you come in contact with becomes illuminated. And this is becoming very evident in your connection, but also to this masculine that's in your energy. Because there are things about your person that you don't know that they almost feel guided to open up to you about. So this could be tapping into a version of them that you're not very familiar with, okay? This could be tapping into past energy, but there's something about the timing here as well because I'm getting that you actually cross paths at a very specific time and for a very specific reason. And maybe that wasn't clear to them until now. So this may play a huge part in why they want to open up in this way to you, okay? I'm also getting Divine Feminine that lately you've been feeling as if there may be certain aspects of your connection that really frighten your masculine, okay? And this may be evident in how they are treating you, how they are engaging you or even responding to you. And you're right, okay? This is an energy that comes over them, especially when they're alone and when they're quiet with their thoughts. This may even be keeping them up at night. And it's even causing them to second guess themselves. And although you're technically at the center of this, they know that the, the way that they're feeling is not stemming from anything that you're doing to them intentionally. But they know that it's only affecting them because of you, okay? And they also have a, a very weird way of expressing this fear. So this may manifest in them being distant at the most random times because it's almost as if the thoughts or this information makes them switch almost instantly. And it kind of puts them in this deep thought about you and your connection. And what's also being highlighted is that this is not a physical thing. This is definitely something spiritual that they're dealing with. This is also a masculine that sees you very clearly. So they know that you have incredible insight where you can just sense things, okay? You feel it, your body reacts, or your mind and your heart just really help you decipher what's real versus what's illusion. So there will only be a matter of time before this came to the light. But there definitely is something that you picked up on in their energy that makes you question your connection. And it's very important to you, okay? I'm also getting the word change. So the one thing that's sticking out the most about you is that you're constantly shifting the energy of your connection. And it's in the most subtle way. It's almost as if you're someone who's dedicated to change. And you're also very confident in how you do this. This is what actually has them a little on edge at this time. Because the way this energy plays out in your connection is very different. Your masculine doesn't openly express what they're feeling, but your energy is coming through as someone who is not quiet at all about your inner world or your spirituality. So there's no secret that you live your life in a way where you kind of surrender to a higher power. And it's not only in life, but in love as well. And being connected to you has actually opened up this energy in your masculine's life as well, okay? So this fear that they feel could very well be coming from this overarching energy that they suddenly feel. 
And this is something that they can't really ignore even if they wanted to, okay? This energy is beginning to spill over into their lives and it definitely has them a little shaken up, okay? Let's get the next message here. Okay. So the next message we have here is, my soul wants you. Okay. So if you've been wondering how your masculine is currently feeling about you, they've always felt like there was this unspoken agreement. They feel like it's something outside of themselves that's constantly pulling them towards you no matter what. And this is actually keeping them bonded to you in this way. This is someone that would describe you as a feminine that is extremely magnetic. I'm getting the word alluring very clearly here. And you're someone that's not really shy about expressing all of who you are. You know that you are the divine feminine in every sense of the word. And this is not speaking to how you move in this connection, but also in your everyday life. So you have this way about you that really draws people, places, and experiences to you effortlessly. And they may wonder if you were always like this, okay? And how you became so confident in your movement in this way. It's really intriguing to this masculine. And this is much deeper than your physical appearance. There's a certain aura that you carry with you and it rubs off on them, okay? I'm getting that it even has the ability to kind of shift their moods. So they've kind of equated you and your energy with a certain vibration. Um, I'm also getting that this is something that they really crave when it comes to you. They crave this on a, on a daily basis, whether they share this with you or not. There's also something that's coming through clearly here about soul contracts. So this explains why they feel this pull towards you. There's something that you both are supposed to do together in this lifetime. And this may be unfolding in your connection at this time. What's also interesting is that I'm getting that they didn't know this in the past. This may explain why they respond to you in the way that they do. But it's very clear to them that there's some type of bonding agent that's keeping them connected to you for some reason. And Divine Feminine, this may be a concern to you as it applies to just the energy of soul contracts. So you may wonder who or what is indirectly affecting your connection. And they can pick up on this even though you haven't expressed it. This may be where the underlying energy of fear is stemming from because they're actually ready to open this up to you. But they may wonder if you can handle this truth about them and if this will change how you receive them in any way. But if they were to be 100% honest with you, they are definitely beginning to understand what it means to be bonded. They're also understanding the difference between a temporary soul con connection or contract and a permanent one. Okay, so there's something very powerful happening in your connection right now that's really tapping into the energy of your souls and some type of agreement that you made long before you even cross paths, okay? Very powerful energy. Let's get the next message here. Yeah. The next message we have here is, we are not in control. Yeah. So if you're resonating with this message so far, your masculine has been hit with a very deep truth about you and your connection. This is the energy of someone who is finding out that you do not belong to them, Divine Feminine. You belong to God. And there's a certain energy or vibration that they must be emitting to have you because there is a higher calling on your life. And what's being highlighted here is that you have become way more than a love interest for your person. You have become this direct indication of how close they are to their God-given destiny. 
So it's almost like this, this energy of your person being given a second chance at life. And this is the energy of someone who may have even been stuck on a lower timeline. And things are beginning to definitely shift and move very quickly because of this. They were given this chance or a choice to transform to this upgraded version of themselves. And this was not an easy task for them. So who you align with and how they showed up when, when they manifested on your path is not by accident. You came to this masculine as some form of justice, Divine Feminine. I hope this is coming through clearly, but they were given a second chance. And this connection is a huge part of that, but it's so much deeper. It's not only about love, this is about freedom. So in a way, this is freeing them from past contracts, mindsets, and timelines. This is about opening up to a totally different side of your masculine so that they're able to see the world in such a way that aligns them with success in every aspect. So this is speaking to their life force energy. This is very powerful, okay? Whoever you are, not only do you possess powerful energy, but simply being aligned with you is life-changing. There's a lot coming through here about this choice, okay? This was really like a domino effect that set off a series of events in their lives. And they're finally realizing that you also came with a choice. This masculine energy coming through is very grounded, okay? They're a very what you see is what you get kind of person. But this decision that they made really opened them up spiritually. So their intuition is expanding and is actually guiding them at this time, which is a totally different territory for them. So although this is someone who's very drawn to you physically, Divine Feminine, I'm picking up on heavy, just heavy attraction and heavy chemistry. There are definitely other major things about you that they deem to be way more important than their own physical desires, okay? And they really want you to know that. Let's get the next message here. Okay. So the next message we have is better late than never. Hmm. If your masculine were to be 100% honest with you, they still have trouble assuming this position. And they want you to know why. There was a lot that they had to give up to be on this timeline with you. So their entire world has shifted in a sense. And it has a lot of people around them very curious about what they have going on in their life, okay? Specifically their love life. But honestly, this is something that they don't feel the need to share at this time. So it's very, very personal to them. It's like, they have such a deep respect for this opportunity or this second chance because they know that it was given to them directly by God. And they're really careful about who they want to open this up to. Yeah, this, this is the energy of someone who has lost a huge chunk of themselves. A part of them literally had to die in order to even know you, okay? That's how strong this energy is coming through. And as they hold this vision, Divine Feminine, it continues to create tower moments for them. But what's interesting is that they know it's all for a higher purpose. And it's almost as if a higher power is coming through wanting you to truly see that you're connected to a very powerful masculine energy who was at one point kind of stuck in the wrong timeline. And what's interesting is that when you look at this spiritually, before we manifest physically, there are certain contracts that our souls agree to. And this comes with certain people, places, and things that are solely here for our spiritual development. And when you begin to really see this for what it is, it's not good or bad. It's just all a part of the plan that our souls agree to to become our highest version. This is what's happening in real time with you and your person. This may also explain why they go into hermit mode 
because it's like their lives are beginning to flash in front of them. And they may feel like they're a stranger to themselves at times, okay? I'm also getting that you both may be experiencing this in very, very different ways, but you haven't been able to express this in a real raw way to one another. But that time will definitely come. I'm also getting peace very clearly. So this is the energy that you embody within this connection, Divine Feminine. And it's very important to them that you remain this way. This is a masculine energy that really doesn't like to sway your emotions. They also feel as if there's something so radiant about your spirit that they never want to change or affect you in a negative way. They understand that this is the part of you that makes you so magnetic. You have this certain outlook on life or just this overall disposition that they're totally enamored by and they really don't want this to change, okay? Like ever, <laughs> especially, you know, connected to something that has something to do with them, okay? Let's get the next message here. The next message we have is divine intervention. Yeah. Um, this connection that I'm tapping into, not only is it very, very powerful, I'm getting something very powerful physically, almost as if when, when you're in the presence of one another, people around you may feel how powerful this connection is, but this is something spiritual, okay? That's literally manifested in the physical realm because there's a lot of higher energy here, okay? Very high vibrational energy. That's kind of like, there's just such this magnetic energy coming through with, with this reading here, where it's almost as if like, you can be in two different places, you know, in mind, body, or spirit, and something is literally pulling you, like there's a force bigger than you that's literally pulling you together, okay? But what's also sticking out here is that your person knows that you may sometimes wonder how they know that you are exactly what it is that they want. And it's because in the midst of them going through this shift in their lives, they really made it a point to not focus on their love life, okay? This is a masculine energy coming through very grounded, very kind of about their business. Maybe even before you came in contact with them, they could have shut down totally as it pertains to their heart space. They were not focused on the energy of love, okay? They completely gave this section of their lives to God, but somehow they found you anyway, okay? And what's also being highlighted here is that their hearts opened really easily for you, Divine Feminine, even though they kind of made this vow not to fall for anyone. This bond here that I'm picking up on is very, very solid. And they really want you to continue to expand, but they want this to happen in the right way, okay? Everything about this energy feels intentional and divinely guided. Let's get the last message here. Okay, so the last message we have here is a different kind of love. Yeah. There's something very gentle, okay? I just got the word gentle. So this masculine that you are connected to Divine Feminine is a very, very gentle soul who has been misguided somewhere on their journey. And it really altered them in a major way especially their heart space. So they are very guarded at times, but this is the energy of someone who is absolutely in love with you, okay? But the love they have for you feels different than anything they have ever experienced before. And this is not a word they throw around freely. So for them to even feel this way about you pretty much tells them all they need to know. It feels like you are actually witnessing in real time what happens when a masculine energy falls in love. And honestly, 
They may even view you as their first love. This is very common in the twin flame dynamic because all the other connections fail to do one thing and that's transform you into your greatest version. This connection is so powerful that God is involved, okay? I'm getting this is a major factor as well. This masculine has never allowed God into their love life. It just wasn't a comfortable thing for them to do. But with you, it was kind of like a prerequisite before they can even open their heart space. I'm even getting clearly that this is something that you both have in common, okay? There's something very spiritual about this connection. So Divine Feminine, in case you were wondering, you and this masculine are actively building your life together now, no matter where you are on your journey. And this is coming through clearly. So you may not have all the details, but this is actually a huge part of this, okay? It's accepting the fact that you are not in control. Your masculine has accepted this and it's actually making them fall deeper in love as they blindly allow God to uncover things about you, themselves, and the overall energy of divine love, okay? This connection I'm tapping into is very special because no matter how it manifested, it literally feels like God wants you two together, okay? Your hearts are a perfect match and you both have the ability to really balance one another when operating from your highest version, okay? I'm also getting the number 444. Wow. Okay, yeah, this message is for a very specific connection. So this may be a sign or a sync that you or your person may have been seeing lately. And this also confirms that this connection is divinely guided. 444 is a very powerful angel number and it's very intentional. So when you see this, it acts as a major confirmation that you and your connection are protected. This number is also connected to the spiritual realm. So your angels, your ancestors, and your higher power want you to know that there are other souls involved in this that are helping you and that are guiding you to one another. There may be very powerful signs aligning with you at this time, and this is to bring you comfort on your journey. 444 is also tied to the fourth house, which is all about family, physical, and spiritual. So this could be also highlighting that you and your masculine are definitely meant to create a physical family unit in this lifetime. And you're both being assisted by your bloodline, your angels, and your spiritual team to bring this into fruition, okay? But this has to be done with a great deal of intention. So if this sign is showing up on your path, Divine Feminine, this is to let you know that this is bigger than you. So you're being guided to really ask for what you need in this area and it will be given to you, even if it's just clarity on your connection, okay? Wow. Okay, loves, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to like the video on your way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.